transparent, allowing light to pass through so that objects behind can be distinctly seen. Or in this scenario, open, candid, honest, clarity. It's what we want from everyone and everything in our lives, especially politicians, newsmakers, and yes, even us. So let's do it. Let's take a clear mobile news studio across the state of Ohio. Let's talk to the newsmakers and politicians and influencers, and let's ask them your questions. Let's do it live. Let's be clear. Known as the Kent State Gun Girl, a photo of Caitlin Bennett in her cap and gown with an AR-10 threw her into a national spotlight. She's used that platform to speak out on political issues, drawing praise and support, as well as criticism and backlash. She brings all of that with her outside the shooting range and into the Let's Be Clear truck. As soon as we announced that Caitlin Bennett was going to be joining us, a lot of negativity, a lot of people saying, why are you giving her this platform? Uh, why are you bringing her in? Here's the thing. Caitlin has a platform already. She has 100 and, no, 60,000 Twitter followers. We had a video posted less than 10 days ago that had about 12 million views. So you, you already have a platform. We wanted to bring her in because she is in Northeast Ohio. She's in our community and take your questions for her. But I'm gonna start us off with a question. What was it about gun rights that made you feel so passionate about, I'm gonna take this photo? And you knew that you were gonna get a reaction out of it, but you did it anyway. Yeah, so my school, Kent State, you know, where I went to college is super liberal. The prominent clubs are very liberal left leaning and they push gun control as well. Where's my side? Where's the people who think like me? Why aren't we doing anything about it? So I said, I'm graduating. I'm going to go out with a bang. And I certainly did. I did not expect it to get as much attention as it did. I only wanted the administration to look at it and listen to me. You obviously are, are very pro-gun, but where where is the line? In a perfect world, if you were running the situation, where would those lines be drawn? No gun control at all. No None. gun control at all? None. No background checks, no restrictions. Uh, if the government can have it, if the military can have it, we should be able to have it. And you think that someone like me, I can go like to the tank store and buy a tank or how about nuclear weapons? Do you think that yeah. there should be a line anywhere? No. Just anybody can grab if anything. If the government can have it to potentially use it against us, we should be able to use it against them to protect ourselves. And I know that's radical, and I, I can see from your face that you're <laughs> like, oh my gosh, what are you talking about? But I'm not saying that everybody should have guns. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that everybody should have access to them. So this is from Samantha, who wants to know, do you think it's appropriate to shove a microphone in a child's face and follow them around with questions about abortion and murder. So take me to your your viewpoint. It is absolutely appropriate to tell that little girl the truth. I have no apologies. I will not apologize for telling the little, a little girl the truth that abortion is murder. Do you see from the side of a parent, like no matter even if they agreed with your side or not, maybe they were a little bit, uh, you know, on, on, the, well, what people on the fence about someone coming up and putting yeah. a microphone in their kid's face. Well, I didn't put a microphone in the kid's face. The kid approached me and she wanted to talk to me because I had a microphone. Her dad actually looked at her and pointed at me and my friend and said, don't turn out like those idiots. What I think is more troubling is that I never told a little girl that I would murder her or abort her. Her father said that he would murder me. And all people are taking away from that is that I put a microphone up to a little girl. I told the little girl the truth and she needed to hear it. I think what most people probably had the issue with is the kid. A lot I'm of parents, sure they like they can, yeah. they can relate to being a parent and you just would do anything for your child. Then I would disavow that man even having her there in the first place. You don't use your child as a political prop. That's disgusting. When you go out and, and, and do these, they're very man mm -hmm. on the street and I'm, I'm gonna put my mic and yeah. let's talk. What's your goal there? Are you trying to change that person's mind or is it to get a reaction? Is it to get some attention to maybe a subject that you want to get attention to? I want to expose these people. I want to expose them for how intolerant they are. I ask them for consent before I do these videos. Unless they're yelling at me, then I'm going to put the microphone up and say it to the microphone, say it to the camera. Let me put it out there if you're going to be so hateful. What do you say to the people that say you kind of troll people? Oh, I do. I, Trolling is just funny. And yeah, I do it. I, I don't care if other people do it either because it's just the internet. If you get so hung up on what the internet's doing, what people on the internet are doing, trying to get a reaction out of you, you're gonna have a bad time. Right now, I mean, you're going city to city. Mm -hmm. Is that who's, who's paying for that? How do you how do you make money <laughs> off of this? I have a Patreon where people who support my activism uh, fund it. They fund my trips. They fund uh, everything that I do. And then also, obviously, I have a job with Infowars. A lot of people are actually asking about Infowars, so let's go to there. Mm -hmm. um, Alex Jones, controversial figure. Yeah. 
do you kind of align with everything he says or he's just a boss, he has his opinion, I have mine? Do I agree with everything Alex Jones says? No, and he loves that. He does not want everybody at InfoWars to be an echo chamber. He wants people with different opinions putting out there. As long as we're exposing the deep state and going against the state and the government and exposing them, he's all for it. Mainstream media, this is not something that I think you're a big fan of, right? You've, right. you've kind of been outspoken about that. What is it about mainstream media that you don't like? And are, is this mainstream media right now? Are we mainstream media? No, this isn't because you're having a real conversation with me and you're letting me respond. Mainstream media, uh, uh, you know, um, was Washington Post, even Fox News, CNN. Those are the people who will not give you something. We don't give you the facts and let you make up your mind. So you think they have an agenda? Yes, I do. I think both sides have an agenda. I got one more question for you. You carrying right now? Yep. <laughs> Glad I didn't upset her. Caitlin Bennett, thanks for sitting down with Thank us. Thank you. And taking some questions. Thanks for being a part of Let's Be Clear.